Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. Thank you so much for coming by today. Today we are going to make another DIY from the Dollar Tree items. It's going to be a mix of a recycle as well and we are going to make something cool. I hope it's cool. I also make another one that I never had a chance to take a video of it and I was just like playing around. But if you want me to make a video of it, just let me know and leave a comment down below and I will surely show you how I make this. This is what I made. This is from a recycled box as well. And as you can see, I call this as a winter wonderland. As you can see, there is a tree that I built and then the sun and then the mountains and stuff. If you can see it closer. And I like the music note. This book is not a music note. It's like a recycled book as well, as you can see. But then I replaced it with the music notes. So here you go. And that's it. And yes, I am so disappointed. I never take a video of it, but one day I will. Let me know if you want me to take a video and I'll show you how I make it. But right now, I'm going to show you how I make my snowman from the recycled item as well. So hopefully you will enjoy. And yes, I also make his hat, the snowman's hat. So hopefully you learn something from it. And it is also from the recycled items. So here we go, let's get started and let's get into it. All right, so with this particular project or DIY that we are going to make is we are going to need a recycled paper that you don't use and an object, an object that you can trace. So it could be a CD or somehow, this is what I found, is the CD. So what I'm going to do is just trace it. Once you trace it, you cut it. So once you cut it, you are going to fold it in half and you are kind of make an angle like an apple shape. So just like so and a flat down here at the bottom. Okay, so just like that, like an angle right there and a flat at the bottom. And when you open it, it should be like that. So once you make a the bottom size you know the bottom because the snowman has the three layer which is the bottom and then the belly and then the head so once you reach that you made already this bottom size which is we traced it from we traced it from this cd you're going to fold the paper like so and you cut them just like this you're going to cut at least a half an inch so just like that just cut it and you are going to create a circle all right so it should be this belly size and you are going to do the same way cut it like so like an apple shape and then a flat size just like that okay and then once you reach that you already cut the middle or the belly of the snowman you are going to cut another circle smaller from this so you are going to cut another half an inch and you just have to cut it like so because this is going to be the head of the snowman and you are going to cut the same way just like that and cut them in half the reason why it's flat at the bottom so it will sit on the paper just like that okay so i'll show you how this one 
everything are all together in a round ball of a snowman okay so that size bigger size metal and the baby one okay so and then you punch them as well the same way just like so and the same way also with the head okay just like that okay so you are going to make bigger one medium and small i already cut a lot so i'm going to start folding it doesn't even need to be perfect and i'm going to use this to trace the ideal size of my shape so i'm just going to cut it and to be honest guys it doesn't need to be perfect okay pipe cleaner all you have to do is just put them inside I'm using a pipe cleaner right now and fold at the end so once you're trying to fill it up once you fill it up it's going to hold your bottom side of your shape that you just cut okay so I'm going to keep doing this until it fills up my ideal size and i already filled up some in here in this pipe cleaner and all i have to do is just keep going done and we are going to close this part so all you have to do is you just have to do it like this close it doesn't need to be super tight you can tell how tight would that be and just turn it like this and twirl it like twist and twist like so just twist and twist twist keep on twisting it and then this end right here all you have to do is you cut them off go and then you bend them inside like that so it's not showing there you go now you have the circle of your snowman and we are going to build this together when everything are done okay so bear with me so right now we are going to make a snowman's hat so what I have, I'm going to use this downy fabric conditioner, something like that. And I'm going to use this as our Santa's hat. And I kind of like the color, but I am going to cover this up with something Christmassy looking. So it should be the fleece scarf from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use this as... To decorate my hat so right now what I'm trying to do is I'm going to cover this up with a fleece scarf and 
I'm going to stick this one in here like so just like that and I'm going to cut around it there you go so it should be covered like that and I'm going to put this in and glue this in here just like that this end part Next, since it's glued in there, I'm going to cover the sides from this cloth again, okay? So then I'm going to cut this end part so they're even and I'm going to glue this here. And then I'm just going to tuck this in like so. So look at our hat, it's getting super pretty already and what we need to do is we are going to cut a circle around it for our Santa's hat. Okay, so let's make a circle. Alright, so next I have this jar, I'm just going to trace this like that. So we have a circle for our hat. Next, I'm going to cut another one of these. So all you have to do is you are just going to glue this to the other side of this fabric. Okay. And then you can start cutting them so they're more stronger. Alright, so they are more stronger. And what I like is I like to add up with a jute on it. So I'm going to put a jute around it, okay?
so now there is our hat and I'm just going to glue this in here just like so. There you go. Now we have an awesome hat for our snowman. And I'm going to decorate this. Next, I'm going to cover this area with a jute as well. there is our snowman's hat all right so now we are going to work with our snowman here is our bottom one that we just built and then this is the belly belly and here is the head of our snowman so what I'm trying to do right now I'm going to put a felt in here so the bottom or the paper is not going to be shifting so I'm just cutting a circle right now so then it will hold it my papers and it's not going to be at least not shifting okay so the good thing about the felt is you can work on it and it's not as steady as the paper the paper is more steady and turn it like so and as you can see they are more nicer like that and I'm going to put that in there so I'm trying to figure it out what area is better so it should be that area and I'm just going to throw this one in there itself and hopefully it turns out right okay There you go, there is our snowman. Just let it sit in there. Super perfect. And we are going to add the head. I'm trying to find the perfect spot where the head would sit perfectly. Okay, maybe like that upside down. Okay, like that. And I'm going to glue it like so. Next, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to add a scarf on our Santa. All right, so I just got a piece of a scarf out from that scarf that we just used for our Santa's hat and 
just going to tie it down right there and I'm thinking I'm going to put a eyes in there and a nose and a hand and a mouth okay so stay tuned <laughs> there you go it is done and it is strong because it's been glued all together and I'm going to show you the closer look okay like the video give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions comment down below and please do leave a comment down below if you want me to make that book winter wonderland book that i just made and i hope i can remember so give me a comment or message down below so i won't forget anyway thank you so much again for watching shasha sj come back next time you have an awesome day bye